Hi everyone, how are you doing? So in this video, I'm going to show you what I explain to my patients when they've had dental implant treatment and how to keep it clean. We're gonna talk about single unit dental implants, so just individual teeth, which, uh, which are, are held on with dental implants. We're gonna talk about bridges, which is a section of teeth on dental implants. And most importantly, we're gonna talk about all on force, because this is a question which I get asked quite a lot, which is, once you've had your all on four, you can't remove your teeth. How do you clean underneath it? Because I think a lot of people understand that the success of their dental implant treatment, a lot of it is dependent on how well it's maintained. So let's first of all look at a single dental implant and because a single dental implant it has the same kind of philosophy for a full arch, there's only a slight variation. So here we've got a picture of a, a tooth on a dental implant, okay? The implant's at the bottom here, so that's the implant. We've got the tooth here, okay? And in between connecting the tooth and the implant is this bit here and that's called the abutment. Okay, so it's really important to understand these, these kind of three sections because the implant itself, you can't clean that. It's fully encased in bone, or it should be encased in bone, right? In these situations, I'm gonna talk about healthy implants. So if the implant's fully encased in bone, you're not gonna to get to it. The tooth you can see, you can access that with just an electric toothbrush. Uh, or really good manual toothbrushing technique and floss. You can easily floss the, the in between the, um, the, the contacts of the implant tooth with the tooth next door. But there's a slight difference between implant teeth and natural teeth and that is in the abutment section. So let's zoom into that and let's see what's going on here. So we've got the, the gum, which is going all the way around the tooth and a nice implant tooth should look like it's naturally coming out of the gum. Um, but underneath the surface, the attachment of the gum actually goes down the side of the abutment. Okay, and that, that's important because the attachment to the, the gum, the gum to the, the implant is right down here somewhere. Okay, it's right near the, the neck of the implant. So this means if you take the tooth off and you take the abutment out, you've got this nice collar of gum uh, around, which isn't actually attached to anything. So we've got this collar of gum coming out of the implant, which needs to be cleaned. It doesn't need to be cleaned every single day, but maybe once a week, but I'll show you how that's done. But let me show you a real life example of a single tooth implant. So here we've got uh, an implant and I'm gonna highlight the implant too, this, this one here. And the, the guys had a full smile design done with veneers and crowns. We had that done about 10, 15 years ago. This tooth broke, so we had to replace it with a, a dental implant and that, that's what he chose. So underneath this tooth, we've got the implant and we've got the abutment all kind of in this kind of direction here. So we need to be able to clean not only the tooth and what we can see, but underneath the tooth and all up this abutment all the way around. And the easiest way to do this is to use just regular dental floss. And with a, a normal tooth, you would loop the floss around the side of the tooth, going all the way down as far as it goes, and it doesn't go very far below the gum line. And that's it, you've, you've cleaned everything. Now, the reason it doesn't go beyond the gum line is because that's where the attachment level is. So on a normal tooth, not an implant tooth, on a normal tooth, the attachment is somewhere here, okay? And the attachment, what I'm talking about is where the gum and the tooth attach to, to each other. With an implant, the attachment is much lower down. It's down here somewhere. So what you need to do is actually let the floss travel down the side of what you think might be the root or, or down the implant all the way to the bottom. And normally this doesn't hurt, okay? So this, if you've never done this before, the first time you do it, it may be a little bit uncomfortable. But once you've done it once or twice, then this shouldn't hurt and it shouldn't bleed and you definitely shouldn't get any white pus coming out, out from the neck of the tooth. If you're getting any of these things, then you should go and check it out. Have your, the dentist who did the implant check it all out and usually it's quite a simple fix, but an ongoing low-grade infection which causes inflammation, which causes pus, 
can cause problems around your implant in the long term. So these are little warning signs which don't hurt, but you should get them checked out as quickly as possible. So this is how you clean around a single tooth. How do things change when we've got a bridge? So here's a what we call a four unit bridge. It's four units because it's four teeth. Um, I fitted this uh, about a month ago and we've got two implants underneath each side of this bridge and in the central two teeth she's got nothing and what this means is not only do we have to worry about the the, the, the sides of the abutments, cleaning those in the same way that I've, I've shown you with the floss a second ago, but we've also got this contact area where the bridge and the, the gum is, is touching. Now this bridge is right at the front of the patient's mouth and in these situations I, I put a lot of pressure on the gum so that we can have the gum looking as natural as possible, okay? Because it's a really difficult thing to make a, a bridge like this at the front of the mouth look natural. And it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. So this contact area is going to be really tight and it's going to be quite difficult for my patient to clean this. Now, the the next thing I'm going to show you, like an all-on-four, is very similar to this. And the way you clean this is very similar to how you clean like an all-on-four. So let me show you an all-on-four case. This is this lady had um, all-on-four, top and bottom. She I can't remember whether she had four, five, six implants at the top. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it's the principle which is important. And what we want to do here is, first of all, we need to understand where our implants are. Okay, so we've got, let's say argument's sake, we've got eight implants. It's important to know which tooth is, or where the implant is in relation to the tooth, so you can navigate the gap between the implants, because that's where we want to clean, is the, the gap between the implants. And... The way we do it is with this product, okay, it's called Superfloss, it's made by Oral-B. Um, in the UK you can buy it from any decent chemist, so say Boots for example will, will have this. You can buy it online, okay, it's really easy to buy this stuff. Uh, it's, it's more expensive than normal floss, uh, but it's really not that expensive in, in the whole scheme of things. So this is really cool because it's got three sections okay and here's just a quick diagram of the three sections first of all the green area that is a slightly firmer like floss okay so it's like floss but it's made from plastic but it lets you thread the the super floss through underneath the bridge the next section which does all of the cleaning this is a much more foamy kind of floss. It's a lot thicker and because it's foamy it, it mechanically cleans the underside of the bridge and cleans the, the gum. And the last section is just regular floss. So you can use this last section if you've got a combination of implants and bridges and all this stuff. One piece of super floss should be able to, to clean the whole mouth. Now with the, the firmer section of this super floss what you need to do is thread it underneath the bridge. So you can thread it either from the inside out or the outside in. And in different areas, different people will find different things which work better for them. So I've got a, a, a video clip for showing you how to do it from the outside in and the inside out here. And the important thing is once you've threaded it through, the cleaning is done with the, the foamy aspect and you have to slide the, the foamy aspect of the floss all the way from one implant. So you slide it all the way back and you slide it all the way forward and side to side. And that way you know you've done the absolute best in, in terms of the cleaning. Uh, one area which people may forget on, especially an all on four, is the very last teeth because normally the way I do my all and fours, we've got the implant coming out, but then you have a tooth, one tooth behind as well. And the way to do this is you loop the floss, just the foamy bit, over the back, and then you use that just to, to clean that last little section. You can use the same technique to clean under implant bridges. So that four unit bridge, which I showed you earlier on, exactly the same technique to do that, although it's gonna be a lot more difficult because remember that um, bridge has got a lot of pressure on the gum. Now, I've made the cleaning this all on four look really, really easy. 
and it's not always like this and if you're watching this video and you've had all and four done and you can't do this then I would recommend just seeing the dentist and um, talking to them about it because even with my own patients I may see them three four times before they get the hang of using the the super floss properly and when we're planning an all on four we have to start with the end result in mind okay so in terms of aesthetics aesthetics is what I do all the time so we make it look amazing I, I design the smile and and the color of the teeth and the kind of gums that we're having we do all of that we plan all of that but for something to last a long time if, especially when it comes to implants we need to consider two things one is cleaning and the second is the bite okay so I'll, I'll address the bite how, how I do that normally, but the cleaning is really important because the design of the whole all on four needs to be as cleanable as possible. And if I show you this diagram now, the way um, this diagram works is, if say I had an all on four for my top teeth and I cut a section through like that, through the middle of one of these implants, this is what we would see. And there's three sections here, we've got the, the implant here, then this little grey bit here, that's the abutment. This is the gum on the actual all on four. Okay, so the natural gum is the, the pink bit at the top, and then this bit where I've marked gum, that's the fake gum, and then the blue is the tooth. So if I show you a photo of an all on four, this is kind of what I'm talking about. We've got the implant at the top, we've got the abutment, we've got our fake gum, and here you can see this is our transition from fake gum to natural gum. Now, in order for this to be cleanable, in order for my patient to be able to get a little bit of floss through there, even if it is the, the firmer super floss, and if I just scribble this out for a second, to get it through here, what we need is for this contact area from here to here to be as small as possible. And the way we design it is basically to have a, a little, a, not feather touch, but a firm contact all the way around, but it's a spot contact all the way around. If we start wrapping this gum around the, the natural gum more, that makes it almost impossible to clean. Even with this super floss stuff, it's just impossible to get that, that floss underneath and to, to clean this effectively. And that's really where the, the difference between an implant bridge, like an all on four, and a, a removable denture differs quite di dramatically. So this is our all on four on one side. If we were to have a removable denture, no implants, just a normal denture, then we've got our gum, that's exactly the same, and our teeth and our denture wraps all the way around the gum. If we were to do something really stupid which is just put an implant in and screw it in position so the patient isn't able to remove this by themselves this would be impossible to clean and i actually had a case where a dent a patient had had this done um, by another dentist embarrassingly it was in the uk and his bridge actually kept breaking he didn't really care about the cleaning underneath it he thought he was actually doing a good job but he um he had these implants placed and we needed to remake the bridge and i'm going to show you the photo of when i took the implant the bridge off okay and and if you get grossed out easily it's probably worth skipping over this bit but this is what it looked like all right this is after over a year in place without it being able without it being cleanable and I mean th this is real neglect from the dentist who did this all right not only was the implant system he used terrible it wasn't actually fit for purpose and I'll make a whole video about this case because there's a lot we can learn from it uh, but because of the shape because it wraps around the gum it's impossible for him to clean it everything that he sees from the outside he thinks he's doing a fantastic job he's got an electric toothbrush he's got water picks all this stuff but it's not effective at cleaning underneath it the design of the bridge is critical in how well it um, anyone is going to be able to clean underneath it now I mentioned water picks and water picks are um, they are good 
there's nothing better than a mechanical clean okay so if you can floss underneath it that i would say that's the gold standard the problem with water picks is that they are they well they can be very aggressive so if you are using a water pick and i do recommend some of my patients use water picks then turn it all the way down turn it to its lowest setting and usually you've got a reservoir with your water pick uh, in that reservoir half fill it with water and half fill it with corsodil and because corsodil is an antibacterial mouthwash and only use it once a week okay i wouldn't recommend using this every single day it may make you think that you're doing a good job but because it's quite aggressive what it can do is it can affect the gum around the abutment okay and sometimes you can get a bit of gum shrinkage and the metal abutment is on show most of the time this isn't a problem it's more of a cosmetic issue but gum is protective uh, around the implant as well so you want to maintain as much gum as possible so i hope all in all you found this video useful uh, i know I, I do get quite a lot of questions about this if you have any questions if you think i've not covered anything please leave it in the comments below if you've got any questions specifically about implant treatment in general or on fours and stuff like that you can leave it in the comments section uh, if you want to find out more about me you, there's a, a link to my website in the in the comments as well and you can find out loads of information there so i'm going to try and do a few more regular videos okay so until next time take care